Yo, this is Stud Famous. You now tuned in to the streets of Vegas. God damn it. You think it ain't real out here in these streets? It's real out here in these streets. The, the, the streets of Vegas. Clips with no malice. I pin bodies when I address shit. I'm a stylist. The day, pulling up to your place, smoking on Mary Jane, last month, baby. Streets of Vegas, DJ D False with Stud Famous, uh, episode 16. What's going on with you? What's going on, boss? Man, I appreciate you stopping through. Absolutely appreciate you stopping through. Thank so, you. how's everything been with you? How you been? I've been great. Mm, okay. I'm in, a, I'm in a very great place mentally. Emotionally, physically, I'm, I'm in a creatively. creatively. I, would, I would say most too, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Fresh off the uh, it's the Spacey EP, Fame Supreme, Fame EP. Supreme, okay, Fame Supreme EP. Spacey's the one joint, the one, yes, the one joint, okay, yeah, the one joint, album. Fame Supreme EP, yeah. Is this what what project number is this for you? What what project number would you say? This is project number three as number a solo three. artist, as a solo, okay. Was you in a group or something at first, or? I've been in a couple of groups. Mm -hmm. um, my first group was uh, Rainbow Noise. Okay. Um, that's who I came was out Was that a collective? With. Like yeah. a collective? Okay. okay. Collective LGBT record label. Um, okay. But I branched, I branched out and mm -hmm. uh, did my own thing. Mm -hmm. Is that, are they still around? Is that like the group or whatever still around? Um, I don't think so. I'm not sure. I haven't really kept in touch with them. I haven't really looked back after, lately. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 Now, you know, going back, what 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 got you into the game? What like what got you into the into the, the rap game? Um, you know, I, I was always a fan of music in general. Mm -hmm. My mom used to play a lot of hip hop, uh, mm -hmm. you know, growing up. But what started me with with rapping, um, I used to get bullied in middle school for dressing like a boy. Mm, so okay, okay. To, early on, then. yeah, early, yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. to combat that, I just started writing, you know, like little diss raps about, you know, my bullies and mm -hmm. stuff like that. That's uh, crazy, man. What high, what school did you go to? You, I went to three different middle schools. Mm -hmm. I went to Von Tobel. I mm -hmm. went to Monaco, and I went to Brindley. Wow. Okay. So you born in Roots, Roots, and what side of that side of Vegas you from? Would you say like Northtown? Northtown in the building. <laughs> okay. North, North. Now is that the old Northtown or the new Northtown? You know, it's like North, and then it's the N O R F. You know, now town. Which one would you say? Um, oh, like would, old Northtown, like Zodies and all that shit like that. Like back in the day. I would honestly say both. Both. Honestly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You writing that at, at, yeah. at Lane, that, that, that demographic, you know, that demographic. Yeah, and speaking of like the, the dish raps, is that what kind of segued you into the to the battle rap circuit? Roll around on that night ride, better watch out for that blind side. I'm on it, I'm on it, six o'clock huh. in the morning. Yo, bitch with me, she moaning, you a queen, this your dethrone. Yo, I down. smell, I smell oh. pussy, oh. and it's time to eat. You gonna need J. Cole Wale just to rhyme with me, cause I'm a bitch, you? Chewbacca face. I'm gonna make it big while you got the Wendy's and Foot Locker face. Okay. Yes, most okay. definitely. Okay. Most definitely. I know you went up against a lot of a lot of dudes and a lot. I mean, a lot of opponents. Period. So that was kind of like a you know a challenge too, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, my biggest challenge was um a female rapper named Marasha. Mm -hmm. So she was my biggest challenge. Oh, really? <laughs> How did you fare in that in that battle? How did how did that one go? Um, I think I won the first round. I think mm -hmm. that she got the last two rounds. Mm, but it was a good. You call it like a a good a good competition, a good matchup. Yeah, you know? it, it yeah. definitely humbled me a little bit. Mm, okay, yeah. <laughs> so, you, you everybody everybody meet them opponents. They got that one opponent that can you know, you know that can bring it to them. Is that was that with the like the a hat battle rap circuit? And yes. Stuff like that? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now how did you how did you get into that? Was you going to the like just the 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 battles and stuff at first or did you jump right off and you know sign up or, or what um well i got into this uh 
battle rap competition with uh, DJ Shakespeare. Okay, shout yeah. out to Shakespeare. Yeah, shout okay. out to Shakes. Yeah, Shakespeare been putting it down for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> we was at Daddy Max and um, okay, oh Daddy Max. Yeah, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, so okay. this girl named Mona, she called me out mm -hmm. and we put two hundred dollars up to battle whatever. Mm. The winner got the the grand prize, but one of the judges there was Fats. Okay, Interstate so, Fats? Yeah, oh, Interstate shout out to Fats. Fats. He was on the show. He was talking about the, the battle rap circuit, too. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Fats. That's yeah. my guy. Okay. But, um, yeah, Fats, you know, told OD about it. Mm -hmm. OD, then, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Shout out to OD. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So I spoke to my manager about it. I told her that I wanted to get into it. Mm -hmm. um, and then I just so happened to see them, like, literally within... A couple of months on Fremont, mm -hmm. they asked me to freestyle, and then after that, they said that they had uh, tryout battles. Mm -hmm. So then, after that, it was pretty much history. Mm. I know you got some stuff to go back. I was checking out some of your battles. You got some got some history on there, man. man. Did you have a record? Do you know like did you did you, did you keep records like I'm thirty three and five, or, did, or was it just like just opponents just going through opponents and stuff? Um, we didn't necessarily keep records, but I would say I have two losses mm -hmm. on my record mm -hmm. most of them are wins okay you was pretty cold with it then yeah pretty cold with it yeah that's crazy now i know sometimes you had um i seen you bounce out to cali a lot too when you got a connection with music connection out in cali too uh yeah somewhat yeah mm -hmm. um there's a lot of people that i know out there um easy red mm -hmm. he's actually from okay Vegas, easy red. okay i heard you of know that he cat. lives out there now um mm -hmm. DJ Kelly J, she okay. invited me to come to do the adult swim out there. Okay, the, is that what that was about? That yeah. adult, was it like a mixtape or something like wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, yeah. Shout out to Adult Swim. Mm -hmm. the whole yeah, team. that's like I know they've been pumping that for a minute. Like it's like the second or third volume or something. Yeah, like that. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'm about to check that. Where's that project at? Is it like online or what? Yeah, it's on uh, Mixcloud. If you go to uh, DJ Kelly J. Okay. Instagram, you can uh, click the link in her okay. bio. She got the information okay. in there. I'm about to check that out. And um. Also, my boy, like, what is the connection with my boy J Cap? Like, how did y how did y'all hook up? Man, that's that's my guy. Honestly, um, we linked up. We were in a group together for uh, low key. Okay. Um, when I first moved back from DC. Okay. And um, me and Cap, we just we just really glued. I told him a lot of my business ideas, and he brought a lot of his. Mm -hmm. And the music. We were just in sync on that. Yeah, it, se so. it seems like it too. That's what I was talking about the uh, the uh, the spacey joint. That's him and you, him and who's up? Stretch other? music. Stretch, okay, stretch, okay, okay, yeah. That's, that's a nice joint. I feel like was that like the second single off the EP? Because I know Shad was Shadows the first one. Shadows was the yeah, first okay. one. Um, Spacey. Shadows is a good look, man. I like just the you know the video, a, a, like everything how it was laid out. It, it was dope, man. It Thank was dope, you. yeah. I mean, I like the whole project. I, I definitely like the whole project. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Fame Supreme. That was actually a pretty dope project. That's one of my personal favorite projects. Mm -hmm. um, Spacey came about. Um, I think this was a. One of the first times that Stretch Hat came to the studio with mm -hmm. me and Cap. Me and Cap already had the baby. What we doing today? Pulling up to your place. Smoking on Mary Jane. Let's smoke, baby. These ashes dance off of my guard, floating like Ali. Ali. I have my butterfly roll it before we pop. Space you already put down, mm -hmm. kind of like the ideas and yeah. stuff going. Yeah. So then, um, you know, we were just trying to figure out what we go what we were gonna work on next in the studio. Mm -hmm. And I was like, damn, we should get we should get stretch on Spacey. Mm. And Cap was like, yeah, that does sound pretty dope. Mm. So we redid the whole song that night. Stretch ended up freestyling this whole verse, but it was so dope that it doesn't even seem like it was freestyle. Damn, it, it didn't. It didn't sound like it. Stretch, now he's a producer or a rap, more of a rapper or a producer? He's more so, he is a rapper. Mm -hmm. I would say he's a, a multi-talented person. Like, okay. He okay. also runs his own label. We actually, we're actually starting a label together ourselves. Okay. Um, called dub gang ent okay um so that's one thing that we're working on he's all around he's, he's all around yeah well around it well yeah. around it yeah what is your your label situation like now is it you just independent or like is it your own label now like what did you put fame supreme out on was it kind of just your just, own just independent honestly yeah, okay, okay um, yeah. 
I went through distribution with a Stretch Music Group. Okay. Um, but that was pretty much it. Mm, okay. I pretty much did everything, you know, on my own, bought mm. all the beats, paid for all, you know, yeah. all the videos, promotion. That's what it's about too, yeah. man. Putting putting your own money up too. What who, who do you work with as far as like uh, like on production wise? Like how do you how do you um, you know, go about choosing your tracks because everything sounded kind of like real cohesive. Like, you know, do you work with a lot of different producers or was you looking for like one particular sound or, or what? Um, honestly, I, I look for a lot of my beats online. Mm -hmm. um, I do stick to like three to four different producers, mm -hmm. but right now I'm, I'm in a place of changing my sound, so I am looking for new producers and I also want to you know, create stuff from scratch. Okay, That's yeah, what I really yeah, straight from yeah. On. Okay, yeah, like, like getting in production yourself. Yeah, you mean um, like well with someone. Okay, just going in there and like building the whole concept mm -hmm. up from the ground. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, 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 that's alive too, man. That's alive, definitely, man. And what else can we uh, look forward to? You know, for the rest of this, you know, this year is almost over, but what else you got going on coming up? You know, in, in 2019. Um, I do have a battle that's coming up in December. I can't really say who yet. Okay. Um, but we're in the talks of it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm working on a couple of a couple of different projects. Me and Stretch we're working on a joint project together. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called Fortune Cookie. Okay. That should be out pretty soon. It's probably gonna be 2020 though. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm also working on another project called Mood. Mood, okay, and okay. That's probably gonna be my best project. Keep keeping today. them, keeping them loaded up, keeping the projects and yeah. the music loaded up and stuff. Yeah, yeah. What, which uh, platform do you prefer to release your music on? What, is it like I know you on um, um, Spotify. Spotify. I seen most of your stuff on Spotify. Do you have a preference? Like you know, which, which one hits a little better? Apple Music, Spotify, title, or does it matter to you? I think, or? I think right now, honestly, it, it really doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. um, it's more so for the consumer mm -hmm. where they can access it. Um, I use mainly Spotify, though. Okay, yeah. I just switched to Tidal last month because there were some Jay-Z songs mm -hmm. I wanted to hear yeah, that I, I know, couldn't huh? find. Yeah, that's cold how you did it. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got you to so, get that yeah. shit to hear his shit, though. But, uh, yeah, that, that's where everything's at. I like Spotify, too. It's just more accessible to me. Yeah. And then it's like you can find more artist stuff on there, to me, it seems like. It ain't, it ain't so hard to, you know, to find the stuff on there, too, you know. So so you still kind of actively in the battle rap? Is it, like, keep you keep you sharp on your, on your game still in the battle rap? Or did you fall back for a minute or, or, or what? Um, well, at the time when I took a big hiatus, mm -hmm. um, my manager at the time didn't want me to battle. Mm -hmm. She thought that I should have just focused more on being a, a, you know, a rapper. A rapper, okay. Um, yeah. Which I kind of listened to that advice. Mm -hmm. And then when I flew out to meet Snoop Dogg, mm -hmm. that's when I was like, I have to keep battling. Mm. Like, Why, wow, when you flew out to meet him? Yes, because he he knew me by name. He knew Did me he? by face. He, it's like the the battle rap stuff kind of got you your rep though, didn't yeah, it? At it the did. same, yeah, it got you that look, didn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. That's where yeah. I, that's where all my passion came from. Mm, that's crazy. And what, what do you think? You know, it says it's almost like a stigma. Like if you battle rap, how hard is it to make the transition from uh, a regular, you know, artist? You know what I mean? Like some cats get boxed in. You're not saying that you did, but you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They get boxed in and they feel like, like say for instance, Jen, you know, he was a cold battle rapper, mm -hmm. but then when he tried to make the leap, mm -hmm. he kind of fell short. What, what do you think, you know, helps you make that transition to separate it? Cause I mean, you make songs too, yeah. you know? I think that I think that we're in a different day and age right, where people right. want to see you do different things mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. they don't want to just see you in one box. Yeah, um, that's true. That's true. So I I think that's that's the advantage of it. Mm -hmm. um, there was this stigma that battle rappers couldn't make music, but mm -hmm. there's there's tons of battle rappers that make dope music. Yeah, right now. yeah that's true. So that is true. Fats is one of them. Yeah, Easy he Red he, he made it. Yeah, Easy Red came from that same kind of cut he, too. He yeah. battle rap too. Okay, I didn't know that. It's a lot. It's a big. It's a big circuit out here for that. You know, for mm -hmm. the battle rap scene too. You know, definitely, man. That's great. And then you on you on YouTube, obviously, and everything too. You got your videos on there. Yeah. Instagram and Twitter and all that stuff too. How do you feel about um, social media in in this era? Like how it's so paired with with music now, it's almost like a 
a main component now. How do you how do you feel about that? You got to be on your social media grind too. Um, yeah, that's um, it's crazy because when I was younger, um, mm-hmm. I used to be on Twitter, mm-hmm. you know, Facebook, MySpace, MySpace. all that Ain't shit. That, that's, yeah, oh, that's all that's crazy. All the time. Yeah, but now yeah. it's like it's a it's a whole job in itself for you. And, it, and it's, a, yeah, by yeah. itself, ain't it? Yeah, you yeah. You gotta, you know, step out and pay mm-hmm. someone to, you know, actually manage it. To run to run your shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah once, you, once you get to a certain level, like right now, mm-hmm. it's just, I just run my page. Okay, so, yeah, yeah. But, you know, once once you get that clout, once mm-hmm. you get that, that notoriety to, mm-hmm. you know, go viral and stuff mm-hmm. like that, it, mm-hmm. it, it becomes kind of easier because you don't have to do as much to, you know, cause as much uh, attention. That's guess. true. That's true. Yeah. And then you right. You damn near need somebody just for that department. <laughs> you know, just for that department. Yeah. That's crazy. How, how do you feel like I, you, your support from from like the LGBTQ community? Is it? I mean, like you got a big crowd from that community because I know like. That community, they, you know, they, they fucks with you. Yeah. If, you know what I mean? They, I mean, did you get a good response from them? Like, as far as your stuff, is a good following from that? You, yeah, honestly, they were the ones to, you know, have my back. Really? They, mm. they had my back all the way through. Mm-hmm. Uh, my first time going viral. Mm-hmm. Um, they some loyal fans, I'll I tell you that. Yeah, they, there's they, still they people loyal. that follow me from my first viral video. They, well, that's crazy. They, man. they. I don't know they stick with you mm-hmm. and you know when you have somebody that you know is is fighting for your mission mm-hmm. you know you you want to stay down you want to stay them. down yeah that's like we got we got somebody in the race yeah. we got somebody that's that's rapping us you that's know that's how i feel about female rappers yeah like, yeah i yeah, love yeah. seeing a female rapper win Been win yeah yeah who were some of your your influences coming up uh female rapper wise like take me back like what era like MC Light. She's yeah, my shout out to Light. One. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Light. Queen yeah. Latifah, okay. Missy Elliott. Well, you know the OGs then. Yeah, you know the OGs. Yeah. Little okay. Kim. Okay. Rod Diggett. Mm-hmm. I love Eve. Mm-hmm. Um, That's the, that was that whole first real wave, yeah. you know. Lady of Rage. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 Um, Shit, you the, the brat. Name, the brat, yeah, the brat. yeah, the brat. The brat. Can't forget the brat. Yeah, can't she, forget the she brat. She was one of the coldest ones. To yeah, do it. yeah, yeah. Wasn't she, was. she like the first female rapper to go platinum? to go platinum? I think yeah. so. Yeah, I think so. so. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. a, that's a good lineup, though. That's a definitely a good lineup for you. What what's um what's what's winning to you? What's winning in your eyes? What would you consider winning to you? Mm. Even though it's an ongoing thing, what do you consider consider winning? When I can continue to inspire people, mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. winning to me. Um, because I always, I always look for inspiration. Mm-hmm. And if you ain't inspiring the next person to do better or create the next classic, yeah. or you know, create the next invention, mm-hmm. I, I don't, I don't consider that yeah. living. Yeah, that, that's living. true. Yeah, yeah. Either be inspiring or expiring. You know, yeah. I remember I think I seen one of your your IG posts where you was. Um, thinking it was a fan or something, somebody that, I think they wanted a picture with you or something, and you mm-hmm. was just like bugging how it was just, just you being authentically you, and they yeah. was feeling that, and they wanted to get a picture with you. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, and I'm like, man, that that's real, you know? It's, it's surreal sometimes. Like, yeah. I'll literally be walking down the street, and somebody, be, somebody will be like, yo, ain't you, mm-hmm. I could have sworn, Mm-hmm. And it's just like y'all got that moment. It's like yeah, that moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that still blows my mind to this day. Mm-hmm. Like, that's mm-hmm. that's crazy. crazy. To me. I remember it was years ago. You probably don't remember this. It, it was somewhere off of like Boulder Highway area. Or something. It was like like an event. Like I don't know if it was a battle rap or something. It was some type of an event. And I think it was shutting down. And I was I think I was just doing this. And I was like. So what you say your name was? You said you said Stud Famous. I said, damn, this was probably about ten years ago. I said, damn, that's a unique name, and I, I just thought I'm like, damn, that's a hell of a name. And come and I, you know, and then as time went on, mm-hmm. I kept seeing your name. I'm like, damn, she's she's consistent. She's still around. Yeah. But I just remember that name. It stuck with me. I'm like, wow, that's crazy, man. Yeah. So it go it go back some years, man. It definitely I went go back. A, I went through a lot of rap names before I stuck with that one. Really? Yeah. Hmm. You've been rocking with this one the longest? 
yeah, since high school. I think I think it fits you too. You know what I mean? I really do. Yeah, you really got a distinctive look and style, and you know what I mean. You got any um, shows, anything, live performances coming up or anything? Yes, um, September twentieth, we're doing the Adult Swim. Okay. Um, you know, hit me up if you need tickets. Mm -hmm. Uh, September 20th, those from where is that going to be at? It's a it's a private location. Oh, okay. You got to buy the ticket. That sounds to get like it. some yeah, okay. To, to yeah. Get it. That, that sounds like some live shit right there. And so what everybody that was on the project is going to do like a performance or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. okay. So we this is the finale. Mm -hmm. I believe they went they went to Cali, mm -hmm. Virginia, Atlanta. And so when they when they was going to those cities, what was they doing? Trying to get artists or like? No, nah, it's just everybody that was it's like a tour on, or something. Yeah, only mm. on that mixtape. Mm. So, okay, okay. Um, and this is gonna be like the finale. Yeah. In okay, Vegas. okay. Um, and it's long. I'm I'm gonna be at uh, Route to Clout mm -hmm. September nineteenth. Mm -hmm. I really forgot. So you got the, back to back gigs coming up on yeah. yeah. Okay. I forgot the location of that, but um, mm -hmm. if you on my IG. Um, I'll send you the information. Also, I am dropping a new video mm -hmm. lately. I in September. Okay. I'm not a hundred. That's all. That's off the. Um, that's off Fame Supreme. Fame Supreme. Okay. Uh, okay. Probably one of my best videos yet. Mm. You will definitely like it. You will definitely be in tune, and you will go back. If it's anything like the other two, I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm sure. You use yeah. the same video guy for your stuff, or, or what? Do you work with like the same guy? Um, this depends on the concept and. What's it going on? It depends on the concept, but for uh, Spacey, I use mm -hmm. Louis Rock. He's from oh. Connecticut. Okay. Um, and he shot Lately I too, mm. and okay. it's it's extremely dope. Mm. He's dope. Mm -hmm. So uh, y'all might want to get a video with him. <laughs> look out! Look out for that! Yeah, look out for that. So September nineteenth and twentieth. Mm -hmm. That's like a Friday and a Saturday. You yeah. Do. Okay. Yeah, that's coming up too. Uh, um, September's right around right around the corner. Yeah. yeah, you got anything going on this Labor Day weekend? Since we had at Labor Day weekend, anything? So much shit going on. You know. I'm staying my black ass in the house. I love y'all. <laughs> out, out, <but> <laughs> out the but way. Yeah, out the way. I ain't messing with y'all this weekend. Yeah, out the way. I, I heard about that. To get me in trouble. Yeah, you ain't lying. I know. Uh, Shakes got another beat battle uh, going uh, going down. I think at uh, Ninja Karaoke or something too. Like I said, it's just so much stuff. You know, I think I might on. pull up for that one. Check that I, out, yeah. I, I, I fuck with uh, Shakespeare. Yeah. That's my guy. Shakes and Kelly. How, how did you hook up with them? Being They kind of influential DJs in the city. How did, like, I mean, the knowing them and being plugged in with them, that, that's a good look. Shakespeare gave me my first show. Did he? Yeah. Mm, okay. He gave me my first show, like, ever. This was when he was doing it and... A mm -hmm. hookah lounge by the Green Door. Okay, okay, Do you okay. That? Yeah, I remember that. Yep, <laughs> yep, yep. So wow, man, you took it back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, um, you know, after doing shows with Shakes consistently, I ended up meeting Kelly J. And okay, because they was like side by side. You see yeah. one at one of them, you see the other one. Yeah, just about. Okay, man, you took it back to the Green <laughs> by the Green. Wow, that is crazy. What was your first project? What was the name of your your first project that you ever dropped? Ladies love cool fame. Mm, that was my that's first dope right solo there. Solo project. Wow, that's and dope right there. Oh, man. I go back and listen to it now. I've gotten so much better. Yeah. Now. Well, of course you can hear the progression. You know <laughs> yeah. what I mean. But back then it was probably that was probably felt like that was it back yeah, then. Like, yeah, I did. Yeah. I was hella confident in it. Man, that, that, that is, that's a dope title right there. Is it? Can you find it now? Is it still around? Yeah, Just hard yeah, copies? Yeah, or? you can you can find it somewhere. Oh, really? You yeah. Can Google it. Mm -hmm. It's, ladies yeah, love cool there. fame. That, that is dope right there. That's crazy. So man. I got ladies love cool fame. Mm -hmm. um, Whip a pill. Mm -hmm. That was my last project. That was I the last one. Okay. Fame supreme. That okay. was the most recent one. Okay. And what made you opt for um, uh, EP over an album? I mean, I like the I like how EPs came back because I remember I was remember the era when EPs was like the shit. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? They kind of left for a minute. Niggas was dropping twenty song albums, then yeah. like the EPs came back. So, what made you op, you know, for for an EP more a short form more than an album? I think it's because um, people's attention span. Right. They're it's so small. Right. Like, honestly, yeah. if if I had it my if I had it my way. Mm -hmm. I would just drop singles. Yeah, yeah. That's that's kind of really projects. where it's at. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's kind of really where it's at now too. Yeah, 
that's that's really kind of where it's at, you know. Dropping the singles, keeping your name out mm-hmm. there. You, you know what I mean? Like the 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 landscape of the music industry is, is shifted so much. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it is crazy, but I that, that was a good idea. Toner. Yeah, yeah, the ringtone there. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Microwave era, you know, here today, gone next week. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. I wanted to keep it short and sweet. And that's what it is. And then, like, you would listen to that and you would end up wanting more. You yeah. know what I mean? Because usually if you drop them long, to me, them long uh, track albums, people yeah. ain't listening past the eighth or ninth track anyway. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, but that's, uh, you know, that's cool. And uh, who's your uh, who's your management? We was talking earlier about your management. Who's, who's your uh, management? I can't Stretch remember. is actually managing me right now. Okay, um, okay. But we're we're actually looking for someone that can you know take that hat off of him mm-hmm. so we could focus more on more on uh the creativity the creative as yeah 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 because that's a lot of hats to wear you yeah. know coming in you want to free yourself up mm-hmm. to just be an artist mm-hmm. you know what i mean but whatever you've been doing up you know up to this point has been working you know what i mean your right. your, your formula and uh, I know, you know, navigating, you know, this game in this era, it, it, shit's tough. You know what I yeah, mean? It is. You know, it's definitely tough. Who are do you um, work with? A lot of local artists too, like any any big local artists you work with, or you like to work with outside of you know Cap and, and them like that? Um, let's see. I got a song with Easy Red that's gonna be coming up on Mood. Mm-hmm. Um, honestly, there's a lot of people that I want to work with. Mm-hmm. But I haven't. It just haven't happened. I haven't. Yet. I haven't stepped out. Yeah. Uh, T. Rab is one of the main people that I want to do a track. Okay. With. Yeah. So we're gonna try to get that done. Taylor Weez. Mm-hmm. That's my bro. We still gotta get one in. Okay. Fats. Fat. Yeah. That would be dope. I would like to hear you and Fats on. I yeah. bet that would be crazy. I think that, would, that is gonna go crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That that would be crazy. You got a lot of respect in the game too. A lot. A lot of respect. You know. Yeah. Be ch- checking your post out, you know. <laughs> so absolutely. So uh, you know, Fame Supreme. We're gonna wrap this thing up. Anything else or where people can find your your music at it on your IG? We're gonna have everything listed in the, in in the description. But anything else you want to plug? Mm, you can find me on all social medias. Uh, stud mm-hmm. underscore P H A M E. Mm-hmm. Don't forget the pH. Yeah, don't forget the pH. And I'm available on all streaming services. You can find me on YouTube. There's there's countless of hours of music, videos mm-hmm. that you can find, mm-hmm. interviews that you can find mm-hmm. if you want any more information. Or you can always DM me. I'm always on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Plenty of bla- battle rap stuff, too. Plenty of that. Yeah. I'm like, man, she got them. A hell of a catalog of this <laughs> stuff, like man. You will definitely be be entertained. Mm. Oh, if you haven't seen uh, my most recent battle that I've did with uh, Billy Boondocks. Oh, that go was check crazy. Out when that you one. said you the bitch. Lips are look like Keith. Do I seem worried? They told me switch the style up. If they hate, let them hate. Watch the money pile up. After I get done, they gonna need a surgeon. Look at her outfit. It's her out the house shit. I said, oh, no, that's, man. That's, that's scheme. That's oh, that's scheme. scheme? Okay, that's okay, scheme. okay, okay, yeah. Billy that was Boom crazy. That, that was good to see. I'm like, wow. It's like it's like you still got it, though. You know yeah. what I mean? You know, I'm like, man, that is crazy. So check that out. But uh, definitely, we're going to wrap this thing up. Stud Famous, Fame Supreme uh, Project. Y'all go check that out. Streets of Vegas, DJ D Foss. We signing off. <laughs> The, the, the streets of Vegas.